Hey guys, this is Jules. Thanks for joining me today. I have a flower project to share with you guys today. This are These flowers are my fall flowers and I was inspired by a picture that I saw on Pinterest. So I wanted to recreate something similar. So this is what I saw. These are so cute. And this is what I came up with. Pretty easy to make. So let's get started on the tutorial. So I'm going to start with uh, grabbing five of the petals from the White Daisy Blooms pack and with some aged mahogany. It's a burgundy color. I'm going to rub the ink all on the petals. And each of the flowers takes five of the flowers, uh, the solid piece flowers. <laughs> you put five of them together. This is some wild honey uh, to give it that goldish color. So I'm going to run in through all five of these. And I'm going to spray it down with some winter jasmine gold. This is just going to um, help activate the ink and also add some color to the leftover white. And spritz them with water so that it, it activates more of the bleeding of the, the inks. And I just fill in a little bit of some spots that I may have missed with a little bit more of the winter jasmine white, uh, winter jasmine gold color, sorry. So I do let them sit for a little bit and then I heat set them a little bit like um, as they're sitting on the paper towel. And then I use my little hot glue gun helper tool. Now I burned a skewer and a paintbrush. So this tool, it didn't phase it at all. It barely got hot if that. So this one here I had painted with uh, some gathered twigs and uh, did some full coverage on it. So that's why it has this color to it. And then I added some of um, aged mahogany on it. And then I just sprayed it with some dark chocolate truffle in the very middle. Oh no, some uh, a plum color. Passionate plum, I think it was. So I'm just heat setting those so that I can get them ready. So I'm going to add the little one of the pom poms um, to the very top. But here I'm using the pointed edge of the tool. And as I'm gluing them down, I'm kind of pinching the bottom there. And it kind of gives them all a lift. So once I have the four put together, the, I'm just choosing the pom pom that I want to use. And I think I went with the, yeah, the brown, the chocolatey brown. Right in the middle. And you fluff it up. And it, it stays pretty much the same just because you already dried it that way and this is what they look like in the little packet there I showed you so I'm gonna use some hydrangeas these are the small white hydrangeas and some Bayou Boogie Gold and what I want to do is to kind of give a bottom base to the flowers uh, so I added hydrangeas to the bottoms of almost all of these except for I think the red one So I'm going to string the wires from the leaves through it and then glue it down onto the onto, on the leaves and then glue the flower down. These were fun to make actually. I, I love the crunchiness when they were all dried. <laughs> so I'm going to do the same thing with this one and put it together. I'm going to spray this down. This is the winter jasmine gold again. I probably should have inked it because it was a little yellow, but I, I was actually kind of hurrying because I wanted to play and put these together. So here I go with the pointed tip there and pinching them at the bottom to kind of help more with the lift still because they're they're puffy. So they're going to be like fluffy flowers. So I kind of wanted to help with that. So I'm going to use this gold pom-pom. And stick that right in the middle, in the center of those flowers. And there those are. And I'm going to glue this leaf set down. There's the two. I'm going to grab five more because I want to show you guys how I did the red one, just in case. <clears throat> but as you can see, they basically, I did, did them all the same except for the brown one. I, I, just uh, did a full paint job on all five of them and then added distressing. So 
this one and the gold one, I added distressed ink and then added the, the sprays to it. So this is aged mahogany and barn door. Barn door is bright red. It's a beautiful red. A little bright, but it, it worked perfect with what I was going for. And I didn't know exactly how it was going to turn out. And you're going to see how bright they get right now. So I do tone them down and I'll show you that in a sec. So let them bleed with some water first. And then I grabbed some poinsettia red gold. Look at that. Ah. <laughs> this is a dark choc chocolate truffle for the very centers. And then from far I spritzed it. So it had some little speckles and freckles on them. And it worked out perfectly fine. I loved it. So I'm heat setting them again with my tool. And I have these tool of, tools available on my blog, you guys, if somebody's interested in, um, in getting one. This is like a silicone type of material, and it works perfect for sp this specific project since I burned my skewer and my paintbrush earlier. So then I went over with a little bit more gathered twigs, distress ink, right on all the little petals, and that just helps tone it down just a little bit more. I didn't spray it again after this. I just left it alone. But as you can see, it kind of helps with the look of fall that they were from going bright red to now, you know, they're dying in the fall, turning brown and then, you know, dying. Um, but they're so beautiful. So here goes with the pinching again. And then I'm going to go ahead and use the burgundy pom pom for this one, just because the colors went with it. I wasn't sure at first. I wanted to see what they all look like. And the red one, of course, to me, looked better. Here we go, and it's gonna go in the center. And that's pretty much it. This is really easy to make. I have a, I have a project going, and I'll share that with you guys as soon as I can. But I wanna show you guys how to make these flowers. So, and here they all are. They're gonna to come together right now, but I'm gonna put this leaf on this red one here. So you guys can make your own. So I have detailed pictures over on my blog and links to the products that I used um, over there too, and the links below. So thanks so much for watching, you guys. <laughs> Jewel signing out of the Jewel Box for Wild Orchid Crafts. Bye, everyone.